building your personal brand. Hey everyone, have you been trying to build out your brand but not quite sure what that should look like or if it should look like anything at all? <laughs> so hey everybody, this is Chef Katrina here at the Chef's Table and I wanted to have a conversation with you today about branding. Uh, one of the big things that I have kind of overlooked over the years um, because I just thought I knew what I knew and uh, we know that over time as entrepreneurs, we learn things and then we forget things and then we have to relearn them and then we forget them again. And that's really part of this whole entire process that we go through. So, um, and I've seen it, I've been in this industry for 14 years and there's the, you should know what you know to, to continue to grow, right? And I will tell you, having my mentor kind of school me yesterday around this, I was like, hmm, good topic of conversation uh, that needs to be brought to the attention. So what is branding? So branding is your promise to the world. It's how you want to be perceived and seen in how you're building your business. So for many of us in the world of solo entrepreneurship, our brand is our personal brand. It's us, it's who we are, um, and how we're showing up. So one of the things that kind of came up yesterday in the conversation I was having um, was about professionalism. And the perception of your brand starts with how are you perceived? How does your branding on social media and on other platforms represent you? Are you showing up as a professional? Are you showing up as somebody that's kind of doing this part time? Um, how are you showing up? And what was interesting um, was that how much a professional photographer or a professional photograph can change the uh, impact of your brand. A lot of times, and now especially these days, um, everybody's using their cameras, a selfies, thinking we can do it ourselves, photography, we've got filters, we've got lenses, we've got all sorts of crazy stuff that we can use to build our brand nowadays. Um, but really having a professional photographer take your headshots, take images and pictures of you, um, get pictures of you sitting down, pictures of you standing up, uh, a headshot only, because these are the, the pieces of the puzzle. This is the professionalism. This is how you want to be perceived on social media. And having these elements of your brand are actually key. I know that most of the time we talk about, you know, your brand is you authentically, but I think there's some discussion to be had around what images, what is the um, professionalism that you want to be seen with out in the world, right? So when building your brand, I would say, especially if you're just getting started, you're in either like a network marketing, online marketing, I don't care what business it is, but honestly, um, go out and for a couple hundred dollars, really that's probably what you're going to spend, if a little bit more, but it's worth the investment into your brand to have a professional photo shoot done for you. You want to make sure that you put your best foot forward, especially if you're going to be asking people to pay you for your time, pay you to be a speaker, pay you to be their coach, their mentor. Um, how you're perceived is basically what you can expect as a paycheck. Um, so dress the dress the part, right? Uh, dress to step into owning that. Um, as you guys can see, I'm always pretty much wearing my brand. I've got my chef jacket on today. I have my white chef jacket. I have this black chef jacket. And I'm always just thinking in the state of when I get online, what is my brand? Who do I want to show up as? Right. And then where does that carry over on my website and on my social media? Now, I will tell you right now, um, my social media, and my website definitely are getting a little bit of an update. Um, we had a great conversation with my mentor yesterday and we were talking about, OK, what does your brand look like? What can we do? What's your call to action? Um, how do you want people to perceive you? So that became a really big piece um, of the puzzle. And I was like, Ooh, so, you know, branding is, is the key element, uh, branding of your logo, branding of your colors, branding of who you are. Um, can this change over the years? The answer is yes. In some form or fashion, you can make small tweaks to your brand. It's totally acceptable. If you've been watching any of the top companies for the last 20 years, uh, it's super, you can see it, you can see it all the time that there's little tweaks to the brand, to the logo to improve upon it, right? So um, don't be 
don't be thinking, oh my God, I do this once, I'm stuck with this forever. I want you to do this and think to yourself, you're going to grow into the next piece of your brand. But it's super, super important that if you're going to be um, on Facebook, have a website, have a brand, be talking to anybody, asking for any type of payment for products, goods, and services, your professionalism is still super important today if not more so than ever. We have become, in my opinion, a slightly lackadaisical <laughs> society, um, but the, the dressing up, the showing up, and I remember I was on a call the other day with a gal named Dr. Uh, Dr. Gail, and she goes, no, I may have quit the corporate job, but I still show up to my life. I still dress up to go to my job. I dress up to become my entrepreneurship, right? And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, that is so critical because especially if you're in the mindset of building your business, um, it is super important to, to set your mind. So getting up and getting dressed. Home-based home -based businesses are awesome and we have sometimes we have the tendency not to get dressed. Oh, we can wear pajama bottoms, we can do everything else, but it's actually going to help it doesn't help your mental state if you're half in bed and half into the world or half into your day. So I love the fact that Dr. Gail said, no, I get up, I get dressed. I put on my best outfits. I do my makeup. I do everything and I do it for me. I do it for my business. I do it so that at any time, at any call, I show up for my clients as in a professional manner. And I was like, whoa. I'm like, talk about a reality check, right? So it is super important. And the first thing I can tell you, and this is going to be a short <laughs> chef's table today, but the one thing I will tell you is that going out and getting your professional photo shoot done, invest the money for good headshots. Um, again, the, the positions and things you want to look at when you hire a photographer, you're going to be like, hey, I'm using this for social media branding. So you have to be very specific that you're going to want headshots. So like the box shot, what I'm sharing you with right now about me, you're going to want a full standing position type of headshot. Uh, maybe see a couple of you sitting down. You might want to have you leaning on something or maybe holding out a hand. Um, think about, you might not think about what you need right now, but you want to have some stuff that you can play with in your marketing in the future. So really important that as you are stepping into this world of entrepreneurship, invest the money in a good photographer. And if you guys <laughs> um, have questions around who to hire or, or what to do, like I love, I've got a, a friend of mine that does actually story photography. Uh, she's incredible. Renat is amazing. She actually um, does your business through a story. So her whole purpose is to help build your brand through the story picture. I mean, it's just incredible what she's done. And I've seen those pictures continually be on the forefront of a lot of marketers that have used her because it's it tells the story. You don't have to guess, um, but it tells the story of, what sh of who you are, what your brand is. It's super, super impactful. Um, but they're definitely a little bit more expensive for that type of photographer. Um, so just make sure that you <laughs> – exactly, right? Make sure that they the lighting is correct, that you're dressed up, your makeup is done, um, and that you're in environments that that show off you the best way. So, you know, have some fun with it. Be playful. Don't have to be so serious around it. Um, but I remember my photo shoot. I was just it was fun. It was out. We were at down at the downtown area. We were taking pictures. We were engaging with the uh, the place. So, you know, this is your time. Have fun with your brand. Wear what you think is going to set you apart. Uh, don't be afraid of textures. Um, and that's probably the biggest thing I can tell you guys right now. So when starting your business, when getting ready to go, if you guys want to be perceived as somebody that's going to be making money or is making money or somebody that you're that's worth paying uh, money to, professional photographs and photography and knowing your brand is going to be really key and important. So with that, uh, I thank you guys all for joining me here today. If you guys want to learn more about branding, how to build your business, again, I invite you to check out the the Freedom Challenge at thechefkatrina.com. It's a complimentary uh, 
challenge for all entrepreneurs, walking you through everything, even diving deeper into your branding, um, talking about your mindset, the journey, all of that. So I thank you guys all for joining me here today at the Chef's Table. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and we'll be discussing our next topic. With that, everyone, have a great day. We'll talk to you very soon. Bye, everyone.